Hello everybody, it's me, O'Neal Gerald, and Mariah Carey just released her, how many albums is this? I don't even know how many albums this is, but she just released Caution, and the album is amazing from top to bottom. There's not one track that you want to skip, but there is a particular song that actually came out as a promo single. I wanted it to be a lead single, but it wasn't, but the song sweeted me so much, I just had to come on here and talk about it. Of course, I'm talking about Mariah Carey's The Distance. That we couldn't go the distance. There are so many things that are happening within this song that are just blowing my mind completely. She wrote the song with, um, with uh, Skrillex. Skrillex is the one that produced it. The song features Ty Dolla Sign, and it is just absolutely massive. I feel like if she released it as a single, this would have been a hit. There are so many things that are just happening within the song that I just need to get in with you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna talk about it. Okay, so we're gonna talk about it from three standpoints. We're gonna talk about production, we're gonna talk about songwriting, and we're actually gonna talk about uh, vocal performance and I think I'm gonna talk about vocal performance first because I think that's something that you guys have actually wanted me to talk about as well I think we all know that Mariah Carey is no longer belting as much as she used to um, she used to do a lot of belting back in the 90s and uh, like the 2000s era uh, but now she's kind of chilling in her in the way that she's approaching her voice um, you can hear belts that she does every now and then but she doesn't do it as much and especially on the sound for caution she's very much in her lower register and uh, uh, the distance is not an exception to that rule. She's singing a lot of the verses in a very probably like low low to mid low register. She's not trying to go anywhere really and she's really just allowing the production that was set up amazingly um, to do a lot of the talking for her especially in the beginning. She doesn't really start to give you something until we get closer to the end but I think that's the one thing that makes the distance amazing is that the theme of the entirety of the, of the crafting of the song is subtlety uh, from the production uh, the fact that the production doesn't drop until the core until the first chorus the fact that Mariah Carey is constantly in her lows and just has a little bit of the of her breathy falsetto on top there's a lot of space even in the songwriting of the chorus like it's, subtlety is really what's king in this entire thing again it's not an exception to Mariah Carey's vocal performance she's giving um, like very low low mid-range when you get to the distance, that's when you start to hear that she's introducing the breathy tones on top. Uh, said we couldn't, said we couldn't go the distance. Said we couldn't go the distance. And of course, that evolves as we go from chorus to chorus to chorus. We have the breathy tones that are covering the, the higher octave. Distance. And then we have the belted uh, said we couldn't go the distance on top of what is still the same lower version of the chorus. And then we have Mariah Carey ad-libbing along with that lower chorus that's always happening. And I think the decision to allow the beat to drop in the chorus was very risky, but I realized why it was able to happen, um, especially from a vocal standpoint. Mariah Carey was doing lots of riffs and runs, that, and also with the in combination with the crafting of the melody, the songwriting aspect, um, the syncopation a lot was giving away a little bit of the groove already. So we have the chords at the beginning, the no, but anybody's talking now. Uh, what we had is dangerous. So what we're getting is that she's on the off beats. She's already setting up a groove, and then also we have the uh, and then Ty Dolla signs close. I don't, I don't know if it's him that's singing that, but there's a few things that are in the background uh, in the production that are starting to give away the subdivisions of the groove so that when the drop comes in, we're like, oh, we were already here. Now, from a production standpoint, I'm just I'm just in love with how sparse the thing is. Mind you, I think I'm a little bit biased because I think my ear is a little bit atmospheric right now, especially since I've just released my In My Mind EP that's a lot of the same. Yes, this is a shameless plug. It's in my mind. But yes, the atmospheric nature of the um, the especially the beginning but also the space that's left uh, we're, we're getting these very hard hitting kicks but um, this very very ethereal pad um, that is allowing the song to kind of float while still being really hard and also the synth bass is kind of giving the gun 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 like it's very very sparse except for the run in the synth bass every now and then oh, 
Now, from a songwriting standpoint, um, the distance is very, um, I want to say groovy, but I want to kind of make it more specific. It's not even just that it's groovy. The songwriting works because um, of where Mariah Carey's voice is right now. Uh, Mariah Carey, because she's focusing more on her lower register um, and her higher, uh, breathier tones, which is what she's been doing for a while now, and in fact, she's kind of always done that, but right now, we're really getting a large focus on like her much more comfortable, uh, almost speaking range. So we're getting those pops that are in the syncopation as she's coming down, and then we have the and each one of those octaves that she's covering, she's in sync down to the run, and then we get the pre chorus. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. If there is anything that you need to listen to from this song, it's the pre-chorus. Warm days, cold nights, late October. <laughs> And I was trying to figure out, like, the melody is really simple there. It's not that it's, like, super complicated. It's just that we're getting this upward inflection that is followed down by this downward step. Warm days, cold nights, late October. Warm days, cold nights, late October. Separated people saying what we have is over. And it's also the way that she's singing it as well. Separated. So we got a little bit of, um, distance. No pun intended. And can we talk about Ty Dolla Sign? We've been going all the way hey, for the long ass. I didn't know that he could like sing, sing. I don't think he's like a like a singer, singer, singer. Uh, I think he's still a little bit more of a rapper. But he did this one run, and I was like, Ty. And then just the tone that he takes on when he's going silent. We too silent. And he has a little bit of uh, vibrato on it. I'm like, oh, Ty. Come on. Oh my gosh, how could I forget? For laughs, for laughs, guys. For laughs, for laughs. For laughs, for laughs. I remember when I first heard the song, that was the part that got me. I was like, yep, yep, we're here. Yes, this is this is it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, it's just the the shape of it. Awesome. But then when she comes back with the Adlers and she sings it, for laughs, for laughs. For laughs, for laughs. I'm like, <laughs> in general, this song is just absolutely amazing. You need to go and hear it. You also need to go and listen to my EP, In My Mind. I just released it. Go find it on your streaming platforms. Uh, and subscribe to this channel because this is the place where we think deeply so that we create art that changes the world. Let me know what you thought about The Distance and I'll see you later. Bye, everyone. Warm days, cold nights, late October.